Now let's go ahead and do the final merge. We see that we have previewed our letters and we went through our merge fields have been put in properly and the information there is correct. All our commas and dollar signs and everything that we want. We can go ahead and, and review that. We see that the letter is in order. first 20 and then the next we can do the next 20 and this way we have time to go ahead and contact each person in the letter so we don't have to do we don't have to find make a final merge for all the letters so we can also go back now and look through if we go to the previous step and of looking through the letters we can actually go and and see which ones we want to delete or which ones we want to we should keep or not keep so then, once we find which letters we want to keep and which which entries we want to merge, we do the, I selected all, so it's going to merge all of my entries. I had about seven names in there. And now we see what that does is it creates a file, and that's going to create a file with a letter or a page for each entry in my database. So here, this file really consists of seven pages or seven letters, and each name is there. This is actually the final letter that we're going to that's going to be printed and it's going to be sent so now this is actually finalized we, we if we wanted to make changes we'd have to make changes to each individual letter now let's say we don't like what came out or we made a mistake in the final merge we can go ahead and and delete that merged file and then we're back into our main main body of our letter where we can start editing again and start looking over other things and we can make changes and then go ahead in the end and do another final merge.